NordVPN.com slash Fightful. I travel a lot. I'm on that unsecured Wi-Fi when I'm on the plane, when I'm uh, at the airport, when I'm at the hotel. NordVPN.com slash Fightful helps me stay safe and secure. And I can change my virtual location with just one click. So if I'm across the country, I can change my virtual location and get access to all the shows that I'm already paying for. But not just that. I can get pay-per-views much more affordably, a lot of content more affordably, with a wider array of content. Thanks to that ability to change my virtual location with just one click with NordVPN.com slash Fightful. And it works on all my devices, whether it be a laptop, desktop, PC, router, TV. NordVPN.com slash Fightful has you covered. And we have you covered with a 30-day money-back guarantee on top of four months free. On top of that great service, the fastest VPN in the world. Three great tiers, nordvpn.com slash Fightful. What's up, you guys? Sean Ross App, Fightful here with the name you know. I've never interviewed Nyla Rose before. I've crashed several. Several, I've, yes. I've crashed several, but never an actual... There was, yeah, there was after All Out, after the scrum that went to like 3 a.m., I hit the hotel lobby and Joey Janela is like, let's do an interview right now. <laughs> Shock, a shocker, he didn't get re-signed, but whatever. <laughs> whatever, Joey. You crash that one. You crash a Thunder Rosa one. I, that's what I do. That's I just do what I want. You brought us snacks too. I think I, did, it was. I, I think I did. I think I had like pecans or something. Yeah, they were pecans, good. They were, pecans. I think they were like cinnamon covered or something. I think so. I got them from oh, the Buckies. Oh, got them okay. From the Buckies. Some Buck Listen, Nugs. Where did you stand on the Buckies versus Sheets War? With with I, Ethan Page and Ruby. So I feel like Buckies isn't a solid contender. Sure. Because it's only. Like it's 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 reach is much smaller. I okay, so I had never been to either, and then they had that little battle, right? Right. And I'm driving here a couple, maybe it was last year, and I see a sheets, and I'm like, okay, I gotta weigh in on this. You gotta get a sheets. I gotta be a part of it, but I had to use the restroom really bad. Right. And I walk in there, and I go to the stall, and there's no door on the stall. It's like hanging. And I'm like, well, this isn't off to a good start. Was it, was it in New Jersey sheets? No, it was Tennessee. Ten or it was, oh, that's it was either Tennessee or Kentucky. Or Kentucky. But I walk up, and I got to go bad. But somebody else is already on the toilet, and they lock eyes with me. And at that point, I am a part of their experience. That's incredible. That's this is probably the best story I've ever heard. Well, I mean, they looked at me. They're like, I'm almost done. And I was like, I'm going somewhere else. <laughs> Like, I'm not going to feel your warmth. That, that was almost an invite. Like. Yes. And I was like, so based on how the door was, and I'm like, how bad I have to go? It had to be way worse for them. I mean, you could have went for a trick shot. Just have them, like, open up yeah, and, like, exactly. try, to, try exactly. to make it in. Get on, uh, was that, America's Got Talent or something? Yeah. That's, a, that's an act. So you, in addition to being a pro wrestler, are a thief now. One of the great cat burglars of the world was a quote from Joe Pesci. Uh, regarding, uh, I believe it was Marv and Home Alone. Yeah, yeah. So you're, you're just showing up to people's matches, turning the water on, leaving it running, and hitting the bricks. Yeah, pretty much. You know, I've, I've watched all the Home Alone movies. Of course. Even the bad ones mm -hmm. that were so bad, they circled back around and were kind yes. of good. Um, you know, just trying some new things, you know. You're going to wrap tape little, around your hands, give... A little thievery never hurt nobody. Yeah, you're going to give Jamie Hayter a hug and then reach behind her and it'll unstrap the belt because you're going to have the sticky hands. Yeah, I mean, you know, it is a nice mount. <laughs> it is. I mean, it is. So, I mean, lots of nice not lots of nice things around here. What have you seen here that is most appealing to steal? At this point in the day, someone's coffee. Okay. Uh -huh. Aubrey spilled coffee all over <laughs> here earlier. Somebody brought her a coffee. And uh, then she spilled it everywhere. But it smells fantastic now. That's, you know, Aubrey, you talk about me being sneaky. She is right now holding the record for sneaky. Yeah. I've literally walked around this place twice, and I still have not seen her. Oh, she's all the way over there on the wall. We're at WrestleCade, by the way. Wrestlecade, Shout out WrestleCade. Yes. Fantastic um, place to be. No, there's, there's a lot of really great stuff. Some really cool vendors. Uh, I didn't catch their name, but someone on the other side has like some of the uh, the pins. Oh, okay. The, the, like a lot of really cool pins. Oh, those are easily pocketable too. Very like, pocketable. You can you can just. I remember when I was a kid, I would look at things and I'm like, should I steal it? 
should I steal? But I'm like, everything has a metal detector. <laughs> everything will go off. This pack of gum will go off in the metal detector. I firmly believe that is why I do not have a superpower. Mm -hmm. Because no matter what it is, I would use it to steal. What would be your superpower if you had one, But besides the steal? I, see, I don't know. Like, you don't get to choose your superpower. It's like bestowed upon you. Yeah. Uh, and, and I don't hang around toxic waste vats, so I don't I don't know what I'd get. So I have a dog. Hey, kid, uh, let me see that kendo stick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> it's mine now. She, see, he she, doesn't she watch just, the show. He doesn't just know. Steals. He doesn't know. She From a kid. Steals. From a kid, she no just less. Stole a kendo Here, stick you want it kid. back? Let me give it back First to you. Off, let me give it back off. to you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> First off. North Carolina law has got to tighten up. Like, a little bit. He didn't have to go through like a waiting period or anything bit. for that kendo stick. No, you see, you're <laughs> like, there's, there's nothing. There's no registry. There's no. <laughs> what if he was pissed off at somebody on the playground and he's like, we're going to handle this if, right now? That might be my favorite kid. If he does that, if he goes to school with a kendo stick, might be my like, favorite kid. Sandman's right over there. Like, it's like getting. <laughs> that's like, you know, when people say, my hands are re registered as lethal weapons. <laughs> We're talking about superpowers. Okay, so I have a notes document Okay. on Wait. my phone. Okay. Not for any apologies or anything. I ain't ever saying sorry. But I would I wake up at like 3 a.m. and think I have some fire ideas, right? And one morning I woke up and I'm like, I remember opening up my notes app. And one of them was just superhero whose only power is that they piss a lot. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, maybe that wasn't. I don't know if Marvel's gonna pick up that one. I'm not getting rich off that idea. This, yet. this sounds like the sequel to Mystery Men. Yes, I think you've written the sequel to Mystery Men. Really is got, what's happening. I gotta get Kel Mitchell on board. I think you do. I think you do. Nickelodeon '90s it was your go-to show there. Um, all that. There you go. Stick Stickly in the afternoon. Stick Stickly was good. Did you I ever loved, watch Kablam? I loved Kablam. Kablam was dope. I loved Kablam. Was. That was like, it was kind of like a precursor to Robot Chicken in a way. Yes, it was. In, in my opinion. Action League um, Now was incredible. Prometheus and Bob. I, so I just rewatched it and I was like, I did not appreciate Prometheus and Bob when I was a child and it's genius. Right? I, I said this to somebody and they looked at me like I had nine heads and I'm like, was that a fever dream? Did I make this up? Yes. So I'm, it, I'm relieved. You've given me relief after a month. Incredible show. Incredible show. Uh, Lead-in for AEW Dynamite. If it wasn't Big Bang Theory, what would your ideal lead-in for AEW Dynamite be? My ideal lead-in, is it pure, just pure fantasy world? Yes. My pure fantasy world lead-in show for AEW Dynamite would be a road show with me, Ethan Page, Brody okay. King, and Dan Housen. Okay. Where we go around to different towns. We try the local cuisine, maybe like a mom-and-pop shop, whatever. Yes. We just pig out on local junk food and toy hunt. I mean, Danhausen steals shit all the time too. He's stolen my watch multiple times. Is that why we get along? I think so. I think that's why we get along I've, so I've well. I've done a toy hunt video actually with the guy that just walked by with Danhausen and Ethan Page before. Man, I got it up to a hundred thousand views. It's not because Danhausen was in the <laughs> thumbnail. Absolutely not. But I mean, like they. They're traveling everywhere doing this stuff. Dan Housen is great for that sort of thing. Yeah. I put him on my credit card. My credit limit went up. They gave me <laughs> they gave me more money. So we, we've got to see more of your personality on AEW TV lately. And, like, you're big on social media. Like, your social media game is incredible. It's got to feel good that people were, like, actively campaigning for that. They're like, we want to see more of what we see here. It feels kind of weird, if I'm being Does honest. It? Like, in a good way. Like, a very welcomed weird. Like, I just, I didn't expect it. Yeah. But, it, yeah, it did feel good. I just, completely unexpected. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm glad the fans are enjoying what's happening. And hopefully we get some opportunities to give them more of that. Is that anything that you ever actively pitched for? Like, hey, let me let me show the lighter side of this because the lighter side I thought contribute. Like, why wouldn't Jade be absolutely livid at yeah. you just doing what you do? It's it's kind of <laughs> it's it's kind of like a yes and no. Um, it's definitely something that I've wanted to do for a while, but it's it's like the natural evolution of a character, like. We live in such a microwave society now. People see something, they want it, like, right now. And it's like, dude, just be patient, enjoy the journey, because when you look back on it, it's going to make sense. Things are things are going to flow so much better. Just relax. Just relax. 
but nobody wants to relax and I, I can't fault them it's it's a it's a double-edged sword yeah. you know it feels good that they, they want you to, to give them everything at once but please relax yeah. we're trying to create art we're trying to tell stories here how do you feel being the first unofficial TBS and world champion <laughs> um, it's a pretty cool look I, I always said I don't want to be an asterisk in any record books <laughs> But this is an asterisk I think I don't yes. mind being. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. You're, I mean, you're going to be in a video game. It's all a part of the legacy. Yeah. You're going to be in a video game soon. How's that make you feel? I mean. That has me super excited. Big gamer. Uh, I don't have to spend hours upon hours creating myself yes. <laughs> before playing the game. I can just boot it up, jump right. Unless I'm unlockable. Like, yes. if I have to unlock myself, <laughs> I'm going to be so irritated. you got to play through as Brit to get to you. Oh, my God. That... The only thing more irritating than that would be if they made me play as like Serpentico. Like <laughs> I would, I would lose my mind. Uh, you're gonna see if he's not in the game, you're gonna create him. Do you remember like how they would, they would like have the pre-made Kane already in the game? <laughs> They're just gonna have him because you're just gonna you're gonna complain to uh, to the game makers nonstop. He, he's gonna be the the character that I make to test out all the moves yes. on. Yeah, he's, he's the uh, red and green on, <laughs> yes. the, on the move testing thing. As we wrap up, I like to do a segment called Shooting Softly, where you say nice things about people oh, that wait, I bring up. It, anybody? Is it people here? Like, well, like that one guy who looks like Kenny Nomega? Like, he, he's got, like, the curly hair. Don't talk hair. about Brian Pillman like no, that. No. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Stop that. He worked really hard. He had a vision for that mullet. <laughs> He worked really hard. Hey, I, I like Philman's mullet. Okay, I like Philman's mullet. I remember, like, there's a, there's a picture of us right before I grew out my hair, and right before he grew out his, and like he's got shaggy hair, and I, I'm just starting mine. Did you have a hair race? No, but Awesome Kong sawed my hair off with a hook knife backstage at AEW. She did. Yes, I she think did. I witnessed that. Yeah, yeah. I think I vaguely witnessed that. That was another interesting one because Joey Janela walked by and he goes, Sean Ross Sapp, I'm not giving you any more scoops as I sat next to Brandy Rhodes. <laughs> I was like, well, first off, you don't, but I mean, this is awkward now. And John Moxley's mom was there and she held like my hair ties and she's such like the, like a nice, quiet woman. And I'm like, she probably thinks this is crazy. And then I'm like, wait, that's John Moxley's mom. This isn't on the top 200 things she's seen. I was going to, yeah. She's yeah. like, that's cute, you her, little bitch. Her level of crazy is just. Exactly. <laughs> so shooting softly, okay. we'll start with Fuego del Sol. Fuego del Sol, um, lovely skin. He's got a nice complexion. A very, I've, I've yet to see any verification of, of, of this. A very delightful hue. Serpentico. He is not here today, so that's good. Let's see who who else we got. Smart Mark Sterling. Um, he is very good with paper clips. Okay, it, you know it, what? Y y they can be a little tricky. They can be. They well, can except for like the ones on Windows XP that would pop up and be like, "This is how you get here." <laughs> they were very helpful. Yeah, he he. Uh, no, I, I will say he is a good dresser. He okay. he has got a very good suit game. Not That's the best. <laughs> it's not the best. I've seen better suits, but it is it's okay. He got buried for his suits earlier. Evil Uno buried him first. <laughs> How about Evil Uno? How about Evil Uno? I, I actually like <laughs> Evil Uno. I got nothing. I got nothing. Nothing bad to say about him. That's, uh, I love it. That's, that's the nice thing. That's it's the you don't have nothing <laughs> the nice bad. Nice thing to I have nothing bad to say. Like no, I I don't know. I don't know. I like Evil Uno. Oh, that's incredible. Let me just look around this room. <laughs> Switchblade Jay White. Uh, not a lot of encounters with him, but he's always been super pleasant. Yeah. Uh, good smelling. Okay. Good, good, good smelling fella. Okay, that's good. Uh, right to our left, we've got Rosemary here. She is spooky. Yeah. Um, I like her coat. See, I always hope that I find somebody that you secretly hate behind the scenes. <laughs> like, that's what I always try to do. I don't want to pick anybody that's obvious because then, like, a wrestler will be like, you knew, didn't you? <laughs> no, no. Uh, tell the people where they can follow you on social media. Listen, I'm a genius. It's all about branding, kids. Yeah. I made this easy. At Nyla Rose Beast Man. on everything Twitter, Twitch, Instagram. At Nyla Rose Beast, look for that verification mark. I didn't buy mine. Okay. You know it's legit. 
all about branding. We got Branding Roads over here. That's, that's, that's your new display name. There you go. How about that? I can't change my display <laughs> name <laughs> because Elongated Muskrat has locked down the names. Now he's torturing me uh, with oh. with my my recent. I don't want to use the word failure, but my recent uh, uh, lack of success. Well, listen, somebody did theirs and they made theirs fartful. So I was like, okay, I'm glad <laughs> that they got they got theirs taken away. Uh, guys, check out Nyla Rose. Until next time. We're out.